company. And I forgot to roll the windows up again. We're having like a Texas blizzard today. I have the heater like roaring in my car. It's like 69 degrees here today, you guys, which is cold for Texas. I'm just like in a t-shirt and I've been kind of like running errands this morning. It's four in the afternoon and I'm just like, oh my God, I'm so cold, send help. We were supposed to get like a cold front and it was supposed to make it like 40 degrees here, but I was just kind of like, that's not gonna happen, but it's still too cold for me to function. I don't like cold weather. So I actually did one of those personality test quizzes online last night. A lot of you guys have been asking me like over and over again if I know what my like four letter personality test kind of thing is. So I thought it would be something fun to tea vlog about and I thought that like we could maybe compare like what we all get down below and maybe some of you guys will have the exact same four letters that I got and it'll be so excited. Uh, let me find, I just, oh man. God, like my purse is literally like, do you ever just feel like your purse just gets full with a bunch of like random junk and you're too lazy to clean it out? And it gets to like a level that's so bad that you could almost sell like ticket admissions to like look inside of the freak circus that's happening inside of your purse. Oh my God, I must be a hoarder. Somebody call TLC. Uh, oh my God. Oh, did any of you guys watch like the first part of the of the Breaking Amish reunion last night on TLC? Oh, I love that show so much. I'm gonna cry big chubby fat tears when it's finally over next week and then there will be no more Amish people for me to watch. And I know a bunch of people say it's fake, but I'm just like, I don't care. It's entertainment, you know? It's like, it's like movies aren't real. Unfortunately, Sweeney Todd's not real. I still like the movie. So I don't even, I don't, I don't care if it's all fake. No one cur. Are we gonna get awkward sunlight now? Sun, stop interfering with my vlog. Don't you know I'm talking about important things right now? Does that make any difference? Is that good? Is that goodly or badly? Okay, I think the visor is somewhat helping with like awkward sunshine. Plus now y'all can maybe see my autograph that I got from Doldrums. I love Doldrums. It's been so long. It feels like it's been forever since I went to that show. When was that? I don't know. April! That's like so long ago. Does anybody even remember what happened in April? I don't remember anything except for I saw Bear in Heaven and Doldrums. That was all of April. Where was I going with this? Ha! Awkward dance party. Um, la, 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 la. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, a huge thank you to everybody who posted the different links to the different personality tests on my Facebook page last night. So, uh, basically, there were two tests that I really saw and clicked on yesterday. And I'm kind of glad that I clicked on the one that I did first instead of the second one because the one that I really ended up taking was 72 questions. And it was kind of like just. I don't know, and this is gonna sound so stupid, but I think it's just like human nature. Like you want to make yourself sound like more of like having, I don't know. It's just like if you admire like certain character traits, you just want to identify with those more. And I kind of feel like the test with four questions, I kind of feel like that that one sucks more. That's the one that's on personalitypathways.com. I don't know, I don't really recommend that one if you want to get like super accurate results because that's just, like four questions and it kind of has a you know this versus this and then you pick based on that list of traits like which one you think you would be and I don't know I don't I don't think that that one is like as unbiased you know people just kind of I don't know I think or at least I do like I know I'd rather be like something like more than I probably am like something if that makes any sense I don't know I did the young is it young I don't know like J U N J let's just pronounce it like that because I don't think it's like Jung this one is on humanmetrics.com and I'll go ahead and like post the links to all these different things in the info box. But this was 72 questions and I feel like you can totally, it's way easier to just be honest with yourself and like pick actually like 
what you truly feel the answer to each question is. I don't know. Some of them are kind of like a little bit tricky too. Cause it's just like, yes or no, which kind of sucks because like, I'm just kind of like, well, like maybe, but they kind of like force you to just, is, does any of this that I'm saying make any sense at all? No. So I ended up being ESFP. So that's my four letters. And the other cool thing I liked about this test is it kind of gives you how much marginally you were ahead of the other topic. Anyway, for example, the very first thing that E stands for is extroversion over introversion. And I only have a slight preference of extroversion. Extroversion. The next category was S and I had a moderate preference of sensing over intuition by 25% and I don't really I don't know how I feel about that when like just sensing it makes me sound like some kind of like I don't know slug or like dumb beast it's just like sensing and reacting I don't know maybe I'm just reading into that wrong the next one I would totally believe, and this this really makes me sound stupid, distinctive preference of feeling overthinking by 75%. I'd like to think I'm like a reserved emotional person, but nope. And then the last one is P, which is a moderate preference of perceiving over judging. So 44%, and I think I'm kind of like that. I don't know. I don't think I'm much of a judger. I try and just like chill. I'd love to have more insight if y'all are really into this kind of stuff. I don't know, share with me your results down below. Just go take this test. It really, it only took me like, I don't know, like 20 minutes to take the one with 72 questions. So it totally doesn't take long and it's kind of fun to just kind of like learn different things about yourself. I don't know, but I'd surely love to get some more information somewhere about something somewhere. I don't know, I'm just like, well, four letters, awesome. I don't know. I thought it would like tell me some kind of like deep secrets to understanding myself. I'm an enigma to myself. It's Monday and uh, the sun is about to go down. Is anybody else just totally not used to this? I'm still not used to daylight savings time. It's like four o'clock and it starts to get dark here. I'm just like by the time I wake up, it's like no more sun. It's like that episode of the Twilight Zone where just like the sun stopped shining. Was that actually an episode of the Twilight Zone or did I just make that up? I'm about to get lunch and then I think I'm gonna go check out this new thrift store that we got in town. I've only been there once, but it's kind of cool because it's like some of you guys have explained to me how your thrift stores work where everything is not like individually tagged a different price. It's just like there's a different price every single day. Like in theory, I think it would be really awesome, but they only like restock things on the floor one time a week and that's on Thursdays. So I went there on like a Saturday or a Sunday and like the store was pretty much cleaned out already, but the highest it can ever be is on Thursday when they're restocking. I think it's like $1.25 or like $1.75 for like everything in the store, which is still way cheaper than value village sometimes because like I don't know right now I feel like they're kind of like jacking up the prices again it really sucks leave me a comment down below I'd love to know if any of you guys watched the like um like finale thing of breaking Amish and uh and what you thought about that and also let me know what your score is if you just want to go take one of these tests really quick like if you have like zero time in your life but you're still kind of curious you can take the one on personality pathways because that's just like four little chart questions but i think i think the one with 72 questions is so much better because i'd like to know like how many of you guys have the exact same thing as me that would be cool. Oh my God, it would be so cool if like somebody like got the exact same like scores as me. I know that there have to be other people out there who would get the exact same score as me. So I'm gonna post that in the info box. So if you get the exact same score as me, that would be like so cool. We would be like separated at birth. Love you guys and I hope y'all are having a good Monday. Monday just is kind of just like, nah. I forgot. It, it doesn't make any sense, it doesn't even matter, but I had a total cute guy sighting in the parking lot five minutes ago, and because it's so cold here right now, he had on literally, and like totally extreme, but he had on like a wool, like kind of like pea coat with a collar, and just, does anybody else just like find that like super attractive when a guy is in like a fitted like wool coat? Hello, sir. <laughs> Ha <laughs>
If you want, please take a minute to subscribe. I'd love to have you here become a member of the Swan family and give an alligator its wings. You know you want to. Also, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl. Or last but not least, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or my personal favorite, Instagram, at graveyard girl. Same way it's spelt here. I will see you guys later.